Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Today we would discuss about air traffic control. How do we control air traffic? So, guys, just to maintain orderly flow of traffic, we have assigned, uh, you know, uh, job to the different people. Like for ground and uh, you know upper level above ground also uh, has been divided into couple of layers and uh, we call them by different uh, ATC names so that uh, we can maintain it properly because it's a complex job one person cannot handle uh, from you know beginning to the end. I would uh, discuss about all the ATCs which are required all right in our day-to-day uh, -day pilots life and day-to-day uh, -day AMEs guys would also you know come to know about this and uh, most important or uh, to whomsoever who is going to appear for RTR exam you must know about these things guys otherwise we cannot proceed further so we would start from uh, you know number one is SMC surface uh, movement control uh, to be transmitted as ground like in Delhi Delhi ground in Mumbai Mumbai ground so uh, guys this SMC uh, or we can say ground ATC controls all movements of aircrafts on ground up to whole chart of runway. So guys, now this is new term for you, a uh, whole chart of runway. So now we would uh, understand what is whole short line before proceeding further. So guys, whole short line meaning a pavement marking consisting of two solid yellow stripes. Look at over here in this figure, followed by two dashed stripes extending across the width of the taxiway or runway indicating where an aircraft is required to stop as the marking indicates the close proximity of an active runway or in other words if any aircraft is coming from apron via taxiway have to stop before this uh, whole sort of line because after this whole chart of line jurisdiction of tower starts all right guys so uh, this is mandatory for all pilots guys you have to stop prior to this line you cannot cross this whole chart line without taking permission from atc tower guys so keep it in mind it is very very important for your exam and it is very very important for your flying too guys all right so now we all know uh, what are the responsibilities of uh, surface movement control and uh, how do we call that as we all know we call smc as a ground all right guys so you all know now about smc let's move further with aerodrome control so guys we also call it control zone all right to be transmitted as a tower and written as a twr guys so from whole shot of active runway jurisdiction of tower starts as i told you earlier so what is tower what is aerodrome control what is control zone it is a controlled airspace from ground level to the specified height guys now if you assume as a 3d cylinder guys so look at in this figure from ground level to the specified level uh, within the radius of a specified like there must be a radius of every tower it is not unlimited like it can be 5 nautical mile 10 20 30 whatever it is as per the uh, you know that particular aerodrome guys so from ground level to the specified limit okay let's say uh, you know how do we write on chart like uh, if it is written flight level 50 all right and oblique ctr meaning flight level 50 from ground level guys this is how do we mention 
once uh, we are done with all the ATCs, we would start our charts. So I will discuss like how do we mention in charts too, so that it will be clear for you. So here, what is tower guys from ground level to the specified limit within the uh, mentioned or specified radius is known as tower guys. And we must aware guys, uh, you know, at uh, some airports, uh, there should not be any surface movement control. All right. So at that airport, our would be uh, taking both the responsibilities. So we can say SMC and tower are correlated as per situations. So like uh, at the airport, uh, I got training for my CPL uh, on that international aerodrome, there was just tower. So, but if we talk about Delhi, Mumbai, you do have separate ATC. Wherever the movement is limited at that time, one person can handle both the responsibilities. Otherwise, we have to uh, give responsibilities as per the individual ATC. So just to make you understand guys, sometimes it happens. So you do not get confused over there. But if you are going to fly for CPL, you will face these kind of situations. But guys, SMC and tower are correlated as per the situation, but approach and control are defined. So let's talk about approach control to be transmitted as approach and written as APP. What would be the vertical limit of approach? So now we know about tower from ground level to the specified limit. All right. So what would be the vertical limit of approach? You tell me guys. See, from ending of power to the starting of control, this middle gap would known as guys approach control. ATC would call as approach control or we would call like a Delhi approach, Mumbai approach as for the specified airport guys. Okay, so wherever tower limits is being ended and control limit is being started. So the vertical limit between both the ATCs is the vertical limit of approach guys. So this is how we are going to check about approach control. Now we would discuss about area control guys to be transmitted as control and written as ACC. Vertical limit of control would be guys ending point of approach approach is being ended at any point that would be the starting point we cannot create a gap in between because we have to give the uh, instruction to the pilots at all the time so the ending point of approach would be the starting point of area control center or we can say control up to what a specified limit if it is mentioned if there is no limit mentioned upper no upper limit i would say that would be the correct word if there is no upper limit of control is mentioned then we would assume that this limit is up to the flight level 460 so now we all know about tower approach control let's revise it again guys look at in this figure so from uh, ground level to the specified limit, let's say for flight level 50, that is tower from flight level 50 to flight level 120 jurisdiction would be approach. And after 120, all right, guys, above 120 flight level, let's say if it is mentioned 270, then control would up to the 270 if there is no upper limit mentioned in any chart guys then we would assume that control limit is from flight level 120 to flight level 460 so i hope guys uh, you have understood each and everything which we discussed today and it is really very important topic guys so watch it a couple of times try to understand in case of anything get back to me i am here to help you because if you do not understand these atc functions limits and uh, how we are going to you know check and then we are going to uh, make a big mess uh, you know later on we can get zero out of 100 if we are not able to find ATC properly through charts guys. So this is really very important 
you know before proceeding further you should know how to identify etc on charts and what is control what is approach what is uh, uh, tower all right guys so mug up all these things try to understand go through with the charts we will discuss it again with the charts so that it will give you the wider picture all right guys i hope you enjoyed this lecture take care bye for now here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching